The EMD FT was the first successful diesel freight locomotive in the U.S. It was manufactured during the war years between 1939 and 1945. The Electromotive Company, or EMC, pioneered building diesel locomotives in the 1930s. They had built diesel switchers and passenger engines. But their biggest challenge was a diesel locomotive that compete with the steam engines powering America's heavy freight trains. In 1939, EMC began construction of a locomotive made of four units coupled together. They were each equipped with 1,350 horsepower, 16-cylinder diesel engines for a total of 5,400 horsepower. They were all connected so that one engineer could control them. In November 1939, the SIT, numbered 103, left the factory in LaGrange, Illinois, and began an 11-month tour of U.S. railroads that covered over 83,000 miles. The locomotive proved to be dependable, economical, and beat the performance of some of the standard steam locomotives of the time. This marked the beginning of the decline of the steam locomotive. In January 1941, EMC became the Electromotive Division of General Motors, or EMD. By the fall of 1945, EMD had produced 1,096 units. When the demonstrator set, number 103, returned from a successful tour, it was overhauled and sold to the Southern Railroad. The Southern bought a total of 68 units. The FTs helped Southern Railroad to become one of the first Class I railroads to transition completely to diesel power in 1953. Over 17 years of groundbreaking service, the FTs were replaced by newer and more powerful engines and they were retired in 1962, except two of them. Number 4100 and 4105 were sold to a South Georgia Regional Railroad, the Georgia Northern. They would soldier on until 1969, making them the last diesel pioneers in revenue service. The Georgia Northern FT, number 4105, will be the subject of a model I am building.